Good morning, my lusty divas and dudes. Okay, it's it's been a long time since I've been with you guys. I just want to kind of let you all see how long my hair has been growing, just how everything's been going with me. You know, I can't complain. I can't complain. Although I am furloughed on my job, which means that I am on a temporary layoff. Temporary layoff, good times. Listen, it's all good. Let me, let me tell you all something. I have been praying lately for an opportunity to be creative and create content that motivates, inspires, and sells, you know. I wanted to be able to have the time, the energy to do it, and I think now is the perfect opportunity to do it. Um, I am off of work for however long <laughs> I'm going to be off for. Um, I'm off of work, so um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, since I've been off of work, I've been really, really uh, trying different products on my hair, been trying different makeup techniques, uh, just been really trying to um, just enjoy this time off while I have it, you know. Uh, I'm just, I'm excited, but I'm scared at the same time because uh, even in the midst of hustling and doing adult work I've always had a job whether it's working in a hospital or working for a private company I have never been without some sort of nine to five income you know when I was working full-time in the adult industry I still had a part-time gig I still had a part-time gig so this is like the first time ever that I have been without anything. So really, 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 I have been, and I'm blessed, let me, let me, let me, let me explain this to you. I am blessed. I am blessed in the sense that uh, I'm still able to pay my bills even off of hustle money. Even if I just make $320 a week off of my unemployment because during this furlough, during this COVID-19, um, they we can do the unemployment. So I withdraw unemployment. So I get the maximum or whatever, which is like 300 and something dollars a month or whatever, which, you know, blessed, I'm blessed because my lifestyle doesn't require that much. It does not require that much. My mortgage is less than $500 a month. My mortgage is like $475, $480. I like to put a little bit in my escrow, so I'll probably, let's just say that my mortgage is like $475. I'll put the rest in like escrow to grow my escrow so that I'm not paying so much for my property taxes at the end or my home owner's taxes or whatever at the end you know i'm not paying so much i can just dip into my escrow and take care of that so the one thing that i will say that um even in the midst of hustling i will say that i have found some really 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 nice solid men to give me game as far as like financial uh stocks uh you know different apps to put on my phone so that i can invest money you know this that's the one thing that i love and i miss about being a sex worker is the correspondence that i have with certain men and what they add to my life you know, you have to understand that they add so much to to my life. Now, I don't know if you all know this or not, but um, all those years ago in the early 2000s when I was creating videos on this page constantly, I was in the adult industry. I was in the adult industry. I, was, I wasn't necessarily secretly in the adult industry. I just didn't share that 
with you guys but i was in the adult industry and uh even when i was in paris you know you those of you all who have been following me for years you all have seen me go to paris you all have seen me go here you all have seen me go there and during all of this i have been in the sex work industry and i have been blessed i have been blessed to still have all my marbles upstairs man you all do not understand how blessed i am that i am able to maintain uh maintain a lot of who i am as a person um i'm not uh what do they call it uh, 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 when you are sworn off of men? I'm not jaded when it comes to men. I love men. I love black men, white men, Jews, Gentiles, Protestants, Catholics, all of that good stuff. I love all of that stuff. Right now, uh, since this quarantine, uh, I've been watching a lot of documentaries on Netflix about uh Hasidic Jews and Orthodox Jews and it kind of reminds me of one of my favorite clients one of my favorite clients in the past was this Hasidic Jew man that used to uh, that's so terrible for me to even say it like that but I mean it is what it is he's a Hasidic Jew and he's a man so I mean you know we got to uh you know it is what it is but the one thing that I remember about him the most is how friendly he was and how nice he was and how <clears throat> funny he was. You know, uh, I remember his email to me when he first emailed me. This was back in the day when emailing, back in the day when clients wanted to talk to you, the best way that they could reach you was through email. And I remember him contacting me and letting me know up front that he was Jewish, that he was a Hasidic Jew, that he was uh, Orthodox or whatever, I don't, I don't know. And I was just like, uh, you a white guy. Uh, to me, that's all the same. That to me, being a Hasidic Jew is no different than being Italian or fucking Irish. I mean, y'all all come from the Caucasus Mountains. <laughs> well, I don't, I, give up. I don't have time to be separating y'all into these different categories. So I didn't give a fuck. Just like, you know, you treat me good, I'll treat you good. And he ended up being one of my best clients, one of my most favorite clients. Um, I remember, um, not just him, uh, there, I, I have quite a few, believe it or not, Jewish clients, a few of them. Um, and I talked about it on my other website, my adult website. I will post the links to all of my adult websites. If you all are interested, you might not be interested. You might be interested, you know, you all, you all might not be interested in watching a 40 something year old lady do <laughs> you know crazy things you might not be interested in that oh but anyway i know you all are like why do you have on that girl you not matching okay so uh i'm going to join paparazzi number one i love their fucking jewelry i love their jewelry i love the way that it looks it's really really intricate it's really really it's uh, like you know, I, lo I love, and it, it, it don't match with what I have on, but I love it. It's just, you know, and it comes with the earrings. It's just so cute. So, um, I'm going to be joining paparazzi soon, soon. But anyway, I just wanted to know how everybody's doing. How's everybody going? How's everybody doing during this quarantine? You know, what are you all doing to pass the time? I know I've watched so many movies on netflix so many documentaries on netflix i'm tired i'm motherfucking tired i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired okay so i'm gonna get off on here i'm gonna get off here and i just wanted to say hello to you guys i miss you guys and i wish you what wish you all the best and i will see you all next video deuces <laughs>